It is from this building that the Warren Commission said Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone in shooting to death John Kennedy in 1963. And while that matter is still not resolved in many sectors who believe in the conspiracy theory, it's enough to draw tourists by the thousands to the spot near downtown Dallas. They come when the weather's good, and they come when the weather's bad, all pointing to that sixth floor window from which the fatal shots were fired. The window was marked with an insignificant black X, and it's hard to see unless one knows which window to look for. While tourists are held to the outside now, the building has been vacant for about five years. Over the years, some of them have apparently gotten inside, and souvenir hunters have taken a number of bricks from around the base of the window where Oswald crouched. The sixth floor, crowded with boxes and books 12 years ago, is now eerily vacant, and the slightest sound can be heard throughout the building. A museum lies just across the street from the structure, an idea that a Tennessee businessman had for the depository until it was repossessed in 1972. The sign which designated the structure as the Texas School Book Depository Building is gone now, and the only sign at eye level now is one that proclaims the building is again up for sale, for a figure reported to be near a million dollars. Last week, county officials inspected the structure for use as a possible warehouse and perhaps more importantly, to see to it that the building remains intact. For regardless of what some think of its rather infamous place in history, it has now become an international landmark for a crime that for many is still not totally solved. Michael Brown, Channel 8 News.